equations involving fractions. Let's say number one. Okay, x over three at one is equal to eight. Okay, now step number one. Okay, what we need to do is we need to get rid of the one first, right? So the way to go about this is we do opposite. So get rid of the one because plus one, so we get rid of the one by doing opposite. So I minus one on the left, then I minus one on the right. So this one's gone. So on the left, you left with x over three is equal to seven. Okay, because it's one eight minus one is seven. Then the next step is, if you remember, this is like seven, it's just like seven over one. Okay, you can just do cross multiply, one times three is three. Okay, one time, sorry, one time x is x. And then three times seven is 21. So therefore, okay, x is equal to 21. Second one, okay, now let's, um, 3 minus x over 2 is equal 9. Now remember, if it's nothing in front of the 3, no sign, so it means positive. Okay, that means plus 3. So we get rid of the 3 first by minus 3 on both sides. You minus 3 on both sides. So this 3 disappear, right? So it's gone. So on the left, you left with minus x over 2 is equal to 6. See, now, then I can just time 2, right? Or I time by negative 2. Let's make it simple. Let's say time 2 both side first. Or we can choose 6, it's just like 1 over 6. And this is cross multiply. 1 times negative x is negative x. You see, 2 times 6 is 12. Okay, so negative x is 12. So therefore, okay, x is opposite of this we must be opposite of that so negative x is 12 so x is negative 12 okay now third one third one let's say 4x minus 3 okay plus 6 is equal to 9 okay 4x minus 3 over 2 plus 6 is equal to 9 again Okay, what step you need to do first? That's right, you minus 6 both sides. Okay, of course, there's another way to do it. We just follow the same process to approach this problem. Okay, so we get rid of the 6 first by minus 6 this side and minus 6. So this is gone. So this one you live with 4x minus 3 or over 2 is equal to 3. Now, remember 3 is just like 3 over x. I mean 3 over 1. That's what I meant. Sorry. So that's what that meant. Okay. Then I do cross multiply. So 1 time x, 4x minus 3 is the same as 4x minus 3. And then 2 times 3 is 6. That's all. Now back to two step equations. So now I get rid of 3. I do opposite because it's minus 3 get rid of this by minus 3 this side plus 3 this side you plus 3 this side so this is gone so you left with 4x is equal to 9 okay so now I divide thing by 4 okay if I divide thing by 4 if I get rid of this get rid of this that's what you get right so therefore okay 4 I mean x you divide by Four, so left with x. So if you use your calculator, all four go to nine is two times two times four is eight. Remember one, so one quarter. Or you can just simply type in calculator, it give you answer. Or you can write decimal point as well, of course. Or two point two five. Does it make sense? Okay. Now let's move along. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, my video as well and uh, just keep it up all right so let's say number four okay now three minus four x minus two is equal um three minus four x over three minus two is equal five okay so again okay what we do 
Yep, you get rid of 2 by do opposite minus 2. To get rid of minus 2, you do opposite. You add 2 on this side. Then I add 2 on this side. See? Gone. See? 2, 2 disappear. So this one, I just write it down. So what that means is 3 minus 4x all over 3 is exactly the same as 7. Okay? Because 2 plus 5 plus 2 is 7. Then 7 is just like 7 over 1. Okay? We do cross multiply. So what I do, 1 times 3 minus 4x is still the same as 3 minus 4x is equal to 3 times 7 is 21. Is that okay? Now, 3 minus 4x, so nothing in front of 3, it means a positive 3, okay? So it means plus 3. Now, then we have to get rid of plus 3, of course. So we minus 3 on this left here. We must do the same thing on this side as well, of course. So that one, gone. So on the left, you're left with minus 4x. Now, 21, okay, 21, you minus 3, and you will get with 19. Is it okay? Minus 3, sorry, 18. So you go minus that, give me 18. Right? Then what I do next? I get rid of it. Need to get rid of the negative 4 by dividing by minus 4, right? Because it's minus 4 times x. So to do this, I divide by minus 4. I divide by this by negative 4. See? that gone. Okay, so you left with x is equal to, okay, 4. And positive by negative, give a negative. 4 go to 18 is 4 times because 4 times 4 is 16. Remember 2. 2 over 4 is a half. Again, you can write minus 4.5 if you like. Okay, so therefore, x is that. All right? Now, let's move on next one. Number five. Let's do last one. Okay, you're doing really well. So, let's say last one. So, let's say number five. Okay, move this so I've got more space. Now, if you think about it, okay, so this one, it's just like I rewrite this for you in a different way so make life easier. So this one like 3 equal a quarter of 2x minus 5. So if you think about it, okay, a quarter of 7, it is 7 over 4. Remember that, okay? So we're going to write in fractions like that, so it makes it easier. So this one 3, this is just like 3 is equal to, okay, 2x minus 5 all over 4. Okay, this is exactly the same, okay? Now, 3, remember, 3 is just like 3 over 1, like that, see? Then I do cross multiply, see, look, 3 times 4 is 12, see? Is equal to, now, 1, 1 times 2x minus 5 is the same as 2x minus 5, that's all. Now, I get rid of... I get rid of the minus 5 because 2x minus 5, when I get rid of this, I add 5 on this side, I add 5 on this side. So 2x plus, I mean 12, 12 plus seven, um, 5 is 17 equal 2x, yeah, because it's gone. So 2x, see? Is that okay? Now what I do, okay, now what I do is I divide this by 2, okay, I get rid of this, by divide this by 2. I divide this by 2. Okay, so this is gone. So now, okay, the answer is 2 go to 17. Okay, 2 go to 17 is 8 times because 8 times 2 is 16. So remember 1, so 8 and a half is equal to x. So I write here, so therefore, x equal 8.5 or 8 and a half, whichever way you like. Okay, so this this is exactly what you're supposed to do. Every time you see these kind of questions, okay, you just you just follow this process for me. All right, okay. Now what I want you to do is this. I'm gonna give you three three questions. Okay, it's similar time, and I want you move. Um, I want you to do it yourself. Okay, so these are the one. I'm gonna move it up for you so you can see. Okay, this is three questions. Okay, so the answer. Okay, is is given 
So it's 3m over 3 minus 2 is equal to negative 5. The answer, m is negative 9. Okay. P minus 7 over 5 is minus 4 is equal to 3. And the answer is P equal 42. Okay. A half. A half of x minus 2 minus 3 all together is equal to negative 4. And the answer is x equal minus 2.5. Okay. So let's say if, if you can do it. All right. So see if you can work this out and follow the process. Now remember, if you forgot... If you forget how to do it, you can always play back the video and then see the process. All right. Thank you so much for watching my video.